It can be extremely stressful studying for the PE exam, especially when you're working as an engineer. You have a family. You have other activities that you're engaged in. It's just another thing kind of piled on top of everything else. And it's a stressful thing and it takes a lot of work. Well, in this week's Pass the PE Exam video, I am thrilled to have with me Sean Spromberg. Sean is a licensed professional engineer and team leader at MSA Professional Services. And Sean has an awesome philosophy for being able to take a very stressful situation and diffuse it. It's very specific, and I think it will work perfect for those of you preparing for the PE exam. Now this interview is gonna start with Sean explaining the philosophy and kind of how he thought of it and how it came about for him. But before we dive in, a quick word from our sponsor, PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Yeah, absolutely, Anthony. Um, it's something I mentioned on the last podcast, and that was um, I've uh, picked up on this maybe a decade ago, uh, an Apollo mission to the moon, they took a picture of the earth and the picture was of a uh, object in space, i.e. the earth surrounded by complete nothingness or just black everywhere you could see in every direction. And it puts it in the context that the earth is both precious, but at the same time insignificant. And everything on the earth is the same way. And everything we do is the same way. Now, it's a paradox what I said, precious, it means that everything you do, you honor and care for and you do with high quality and you give it your all. But at the end of the day, it's insignificant. So that allows you to put space around whatever it is that you're doing and not get stressed about anything that you got to, you, you know, it's put it in the context, you know, I'm going to give it my all, put forth my best effort on this test, juggle my life, juggle the kids, a career all those sorts of things. And um, at the end of the day, if I don't pass it, I'll take it again. You know, I, I, I've got another opportunity at this. I can, I can do it again. It's just putting space around it. There's no sense in losing your health, which is the most important thing you have. It's really the only thing you have. Um, there's no sense in, in destroying that over a, a test, a simple test. After all, remember the earth surrounded by nothingness, black, the test is too. Yeah, we're a speck in, in the galaxy. Um, yeah, and I really like that because in doing a lot of interviews on the past the PE exam channel, I, you know, you do hear that from a lot of you know professionals that they're stressed out. It's a big exam for them. It's a make or break exam, and I think a lot of times it comes down to mindset. To Sean's point, where we end up putting a lot of the stress and pressure on ourselves, right, as the professional, right. You know, because we have high expectations for ourselves, which is understandable. But at the same time, I don't think we're helping ourselves in the moment with those expectations. And we're kind of could even be locking ourselves up. So, you know, thinking about kind of what Sean said, the whole idea of this earth and, you know, the Apollo picture, I think is very valuable when you're in a situation like this, because what it does is it just de-stresses like the moment, right? And it unlocks you and it says, okay. Because you might just be having a bad day. You might be having a bad week. You know, you have a lot going on at work. You got a situation with a client. Now you got to come home and get on the kitchen table and start going through your PE, you know, reference book. But if you just sit back and say, listen, over the lifetime of my career, this is one exam, right? This is an eight hour exam I'm going to sit down and take. I may pass it this time. I may not. 
if nothing else, it'll get you through that night. It'll get you through that week. It'll get you refocused and then you can get back on track again. I think we need some mechanisms like this when we deal with some of the challenges or the ups and downs in our careers so that we could take a deep breath and do it. In fact, my daughter right now is going through the process of taking the SATs, right? Getting ready for college. It's the same thing. You know, she's got school, she's got sports, she's got SAT preparation. So I'm trying to tell her the same thing that kind of Sean's mentioning here, which is like, let's listen, it's a test. At the end of the day, it's a test. It's not really who you are. And if a college is going to say, hey, I'm only taking you whether you get X hundred on your whatever test, it's probably not the best place for you anyway, right? Yeah. And listen, they may still really rank things on that, but just to, to get your mind right for this whole process, you got to talk to yourself. you got to give yourself mindset. And I think, Sean, at the end of the day, it could really be the difference as to whether or not you pass the exam, even maybe more than how much you prepare, but your mindset going in. Oh, a hundred percent, one hundred percent. Where, where, where you are in space, like your 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 demeanor, your um, energy, paying attention to your energy, manage your energy, not your time, um, is way more important than perhaps your knowledge of, <laughs> of any particular uh, thing, uh, in particular for a test. I mean, like I said, give it your all. You want to pass it, right? But don't get attached to the results. And one other thing you mentioned there, Anthony, that's it's extremely important. You mentioned the word breathe, right? Mm. Our minds are the a human brain is the most complex thing on planet Earth. It's it's one of the most wonderful things on planet Earth. It's one of the, the best tools we have. It is the best tool we have, but it's not who we are ultimately. Um, and one of the things that happens with human beings is that thinking happens. We don't think mm. thinking happens. It's nonstop. It's always happening right. and it can, it can take a toll on you, especially in high stress situations, like taking the, the PE exam, <laughs> your head can spin out. And one of the strategies to use is what you said there is breathing, paying attention to your breath. Mm -hmm. And maybe I got this because my wife's a yoga teacher, but uh, when you breathe, if you pay attention to your breath, 100% pay attention to your breath, you can't think. So if you just try that, take three, four, five real deep breaths, paying 100% attention to your breath, you can't think about anything at the same time. And what that does is that calms you down in the moment. And that might just be the difference between you passing the PE. And <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I hear you a hundred percent. And, you know, and that happens sometimes when you get into situations and you're here, you feel your heartbeat, you know, elevate right a little bit. And the way to get it to slow down a lot of times can be to stop and take some deep breaths. Right. Absolutely. So if you're in the middle of the exam and you don't know the problem and you're starting to think, Oh my gosh, the time I'm going to run out, just take, stop, take a breath. Right. Yep. And it'll help you. In fact, you know, and I, I've, I've picked up over the years too, doing some kind of, you know, short meditations. It's the same idea when you're doing a meditation and you're just focusing on your breath to Sean's point, you can't think about anything else. Right. So it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a way to help you kind of just get a handle on things because your brain will not stop. Right. It doesn't want to stop. And, and that's important. And the one other thing that I'll say real quickly here, going back to what Sean said earlier is you do really only have your health. Right. And I would say that if you got home from work one day and you're feeling a little bit stressed before you, you open up the books and start studying for the PE exam, you know, go outside with your kids, right? Shoot a basketball around for 10, 15 minutes, take a jog, take a walk. Even if you end up studying 15, 20, 30 minutes less, you're probably going to be much more effective in that study time because a lot of times we need those breaks. We need that activity to keep us going. And I've found in my own career if I don't have space in my day where I can go out and take a walk and then come back, like my work is just less effective. So my point is, is that don't focus on the hours that you're going to study each day or each week, you know, try to design your schedule so that you're, you're getting good interaction. You're getting some, you know, physical interaction, you know, hanging out with people and then doing some studying. Cause I think you need to have a little bit of all of that and you'll, you'll generate better results. Absolutely. Manage your energy, not your time. There you go. All right. Well, listen, once again, Sean, we thank you so much for spending some time here on past the PE exam. We really appreciate the advice. Thanks, Anthony. 
I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Sean. I think his philosophy can be very powerful, not just with PE exam preparation, but also in your career and in life in general, right? We're always gonna run into stressful situations and when we remind ourselves that this is just a small step on a larger career path or trajectory, it can really help to kind of diffuse the situation and get us refocused. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers pass the PE exam. And please, if you have any specific comments, thoughts, or questions that you need help with related to the exam, leave them in the comments below this video and I will read and respond to them. And I will see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.